Welcome back, Casino Guitars. I have a special guest star. Not a positive reason we're here, but we want to do a big, like, helpful thing to all you guitar collectors out there and all of our friends. But thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe, the bell if you like this stuff. But anyway, this is a good friend of mine, Rob, from Myrtle Beach. Sort of from all over the place, but he's in Myrtle Beach right now, correct? Yeah, we're up and down the East Coast. We head out to Colorado. Um, we just got back from Greenwich, Connecticut. There was a health scare up there, and now we're up in Massachusetts. So that makes no sense to you so far. But anyway, this but is what will. we're talking about. So Rob, your your guitar collection was just stolen. Right. And it was a pretty big collection. We have about $75,000 worth of pieces and some a little bit of jewelry and a great bicycle we'll get into later. But this was stolen because you and your wife, she is, what does she do exactly? She's a medical traveler, frontline worker for COVID, and she works in any position in radiology. MRI, CAT scan, anything in that department she's versed in. And so because of what we've been going through in the country the past couple of years, she's been mobile extreme, I imagine. You right. Too. Yeah, we, within 24 hours, we jump in the car and head to any hospital west of, uh, east of the Mississippi. Good guy. And you have, um, you've been able to, to travel with her, but let's get into the root of what we're talking about here. You have, you had a very healthy guitar collection. So we break down what happened. Uh, we travel around and uh, I feel or I felt secure at a storage facility in Myrtle Beach. What storage facility? Plantation storage. Okay, is that in North Myrtle or? In Myrtle Beach itself, okay, Myrtle right, Beach right itself. by 501. I know Myrtle Beach quite well because one of my dear friends, Jordan, um, lives down there. I've had mm -hmm. one white. I'm <laughs> right, this, this is right around the corner. Okay, I, I, I thought it looked familiar yeah. when I saw pictures. And uh, I had my entire guitar collection there because we sold our house, we hit the road, and uh, I thought it was secure until Saturday morning when I got a call from Plantation Storage that the unit was opened up and they have the video and people are walking out with endless guitars in their hand. So we do, we do have a series of pictures, which is, we're showing now, obviously, of the perpetrators. Right. And that, that's what we're asking you guys out there, if you're watching, like, we're going to talk about what we think you can do to prevent this stuff. But if you're out there and you're seeing, if you know these two people, please contact your local authorities or contact us. No names have to be mentioned. I know you're offering a reward for information as well. I am. To catch these guys and put them in jail, uh, I've taken $5,000 out of my own pocket. It's worth it to me. Well, and then the thing we've done too, because we've, we've helped some other folks find their guitar collections, because it's very personal. We take it personally. I know it's just wood and steel, but it's things that we collect through our life, our parents. Like some of my prized possessions of the guitars my parents got me when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's some of Yeah, it's too. exactly what it was. Yeah, and that's what's so painful. Um, and we want to we want to help find these guitars too. So we're gonna if we're gonna put a list of some of the guitars as well attached to this this video. So please just peruse that. If you have questions, contact us. If you're in the Myrtle Beach area, the South Carolina area, anywhere, all the way to Columbia, and we know guitars travel because we had guitar stolen before and it ended up at a guitar center down there and the guys at the guitar center were awesome. Corporate was not, but the guys at the local <laughs> guitar center were killer. Again, corporate was not, <laughs> but um, that's what we're hoping to help, get help from everybody. So, so again, you were notified that your storage was broken into. Yeah. And uh, we were all the way up in Massachusetts and instantly had to jump in the car. We drove with traffic. It was 16 hours on Sunday, all the way back to Myrtle Beach to get involved with the police, investigations, police reports. Um, last night is the first time I even had sleep in four days. Um, it's weird how much it affects you, isn't it? It is. It's, it's shocking. It's shocking. It's... You, you know, Baxter, I grew up with baseball gloves. I had one baseball glove. I didn't have a whole room full. Um, I play golf. If my golf clubs got stolen tomorrow, I wouldn't cry over it. This was devastating. I feel violated. Um, I'm a Metallica fan in a way, but I don't know if you've ever heard Kirk <laughs> talk about his guitars. That's Did you ever cool. see the interviews with Kirk? I, I know what you're talking about. He loves them. He yes. loves them, and he says they're almost like people. And when you first hear that, you say, come on, is it really? When they're gone, thing. yeah. Yeah, it feels that way. It's what because it is. This, is, this isn't like, well, let's, let's get to the silver lining here. We'll go into the more details of it as well, but you had two guitars that the thieves did not get. Yeah. Tell had, me about Neil's first. Uh, I was a Journey fan growing up. I'm 51 years old, so I don't know. I'm 46. Yeah, so everybody loved Journey. It was all about Journey in the early 80s, mid 80s. And uh, one of the guitars I had was from Neil Sean that okay. I kind of cherished. It has all the paperwork. It hangs in my room with the light on it. Um, and that's that, still there. And that's still there. And the other one I had is an SG Pelham Blue. 
that belonged to Les Paul himself that he liked. Um, and <laughs> me being overprotective of these things, I thought I had a bright idea in case the sprinkler system ever let go in the storage facility. I wrapped him up in a brown tarp and slid him under an old piece of furniture that we had in storage for water damage I was worried about. Well, when the thieves broke in, they popped it. All the guitars were in plain view, except for those two that were buried back underneath uh, old piece of furniture. See, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's like by happenstance. And that makes um, me happy. I'm hoping that the thieves actually see this and like, dog nab it, we didn't get those. I want, I want them, no offense to you, but I feel like you're kind of a piece of trash and I hope you feel bad. But how many units are in the storage place? <laughs> that's the crazy part. There's probably 800 units. How many units were broken into? Uh, mine and okay. the one next door. Hmm. <laughs> um, but if I could go off on a little bit of a tangent Please. here with these storage units, um, it's a little deceiving because you think you're protected. Um, I didn't grow up in the world of engineering storage units, but um, they look pretty sturdy. You would think that there's security around, but what goes on with that is you, once you're inside the inner sanctum of these units, um, it's a thin, thin piece of steel door. Yeah, and they didn't even cut the locks. I saw, I saw the video. The two locks were still on it. I don't know if I should even say how to get into these on camera. No, but we, you don't need to. But, we, we understand. You can but it's not hard. It's, 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 not not as, hard. it's not like you think. You're not protected like you would be in a bank vault. No. But I didn't realize that till now. Well, the fact that there's no, there's no person on the premises. No. And then I, I believe you told me something about a back door being left open. Yeah, there was a, a back gate because I said, oh, did the, you know, I was thinking it was an elaborate scheme where they were just cutting through fences and I pictured it to be pretty elaborate, but it wasn't. Apparently there was some back gate that they shimmy through and then was open. And then once you're past there, I don't know if you know storage units, but you have to go down a hallway because they're climate controlled. Right. The outer doors are left open, pull the door open. Now you're inside. And at 4 a.m., there's nobody around. Order a pepperoni pizza, hang out, take your time. And they were in there, uh, somebody was saying, an hour. God, I can't believe it would take an hour to do I, I feel like you could do this in five minutes once you spring that lock. Yeah, but they, they were just they were going through everything methodically. Because we, we had other stuff in there. Um, a couple so they were of, actually opening things. Yeah. And, so you and they, watched the whole video. Yeah. I had my watches. My wife, for, uh, for Christmas, brought me a, bought me a Breitling watch. But it, com it, com it comes with goodies, hats and T-shirts and can of cookies that they give you from Breitling and uh, they didn't want to grab everything they went through everything through the hats through the cookies but took the watch now here's this the other sad part of this thing did do you have insurance on these pieces no because you can't they don't insure any jewelry um, and any insurance policy if you really really read through the fine print you're not as protected as you think you are and there's a limit for ten thousand dollars well in the and I was thinking too because you guys are mobile and did you not sell a house recently or so you you don't have homeowners insurance at the moment. No, but and, and well, we have some we have another property that's being rented, but I can't claim it on homeowners. Right. Cause and the, and our main house we sold to hit the road and help during the COVID fiasco. So um, there's no homeowners policy we can go back on. Okay. But my my biggest thing is out of all those units, why? Because people are like, why would you even feel safe? I felt safe because there's a ton of other units. How would you pick on that unit? Well, I mean, and like, and like we're all saying what everybody's hopefully commenting too is that it's I. The minute you told me about this on the phone for the first time, it sounds directly like an inside job. Job, like like someone was tipped off. There's no feasible way otherwise that mm -hmm. there has to be someone who works there called someone and said there's a lot of guitars going to this unit, and it doesn't have to be someone that's working there that did it. But unfortunately, and if the unit itself is not actively involved in trying to help catch these cats. I don't know what they're doing. Basically, when, when they told me on the phone, you know, I was asking questions, and the only answer I got was, well, we're really sorry about that. Yeah, so I don't feel sorry <laughs> for them at all at this point. For, I, I'm, I would be ashamed if that was my business, because we, we, we take on people's guitars to sell consignment. Mm -hmm. And if we have an issue and they're stolen or taken from our property, we're responsible for those guitars. There's not even a contract that says that, that people sign when they do it, but we promise that to everyone and we do it. Yeah. We take care of it. We've, we've had guitars break in shipping or something. If it's, if it's customers, it's our responsibilities. Right. You know, and I, I don't know. I feel like that's part of a business to take a little bit of ownership in this, especially when your back door was open. You have no active security. <laughs> I just, I, when I looked at the whole place looks nice too. And that's what it got me. It looks really right. nice. It's it was, like a little country club store. Exactly. Gym. I was like, hey. And that's what got me because it was by my house. It was convenient. Um, but I really don't want to give away security secrets, but it's not as secure as you think it is. Well, 
I mean, because you said they, they could just pull the, the door off a little bit. Part of what I want to do is talking about this is like, Help I up. want people to be educated and know how to protect your gear. So uh, I'll tell you how it's done then. I'll tell yeah, you. We'll, go, we'll, we'll talk us. about it. Um, you, you, if you ever look at those security units, you have a bar that comes across. It's a right. male that goes into a female. Correct. You could put up to two locks on that. Yes. Um, some of the locks are even impervious that you can't cut. They're called disc locks. Yes, I know the uh, disc locks. Right. So you think, I'm secure. Right. The way to do it is all you need in the way they did it. I saw it on video. Take the crowbar, stick it between the door and the frame, put the crowbar in, push it to the right. It pops out of the track, roll it right up. Oh, Lord. That's it. So the locks, so is, locks mean the lock nothing. is useless. Put a zip tie on it at that point. <laughs> What's the, you know, it's not like um, those disc locks look so, you know, serious. So, like, so what you're really saying then is the security on the externals of the storage is almost more important. It is. It is. I would have felt better. You know, some of them now, in hindsight, we've been looking around for obviously a new storage facility. Um, yeah, if you have barbed wire, if you have keypads that trace who goes in and out. Well, I feel like there should have to be keypads that, or, or it's something to enter into the inner sanctum, as you said. Yeah. Oh, there's not in this no, place? No, it's wide open. It has, it has a door handle. You just pull it and walk in. But that doesn't make any sense. So once you get past the gate that lifts up, but they didn't have the back one closed. Well, yeah, no, there's a fence that goes around it, but they have a people door for, I guess. I guess for emergency use. And the people door is like, you know, when you went to your grandma's, you lift the little latch and you push the gate open. That's what it was. Because there was no fences that were cut or anything like that. So something else we've talked about too is on ways to help if you're in the situation, you're nervous about it. Um, the Apple AirPods, or not AirPods, the, um, what do you call them again? Yeah, the stickers that you put on. The little disc things. I right. just went blank on them. I'm right. sorry. I'm thinking AirPods because I don't have any. But um, the, the little discs, the, get those and put them in your guitar somewhere. Like put them in the cases, put them inside the guitars if you need to. If you're going to be away from them a while, put them in the back cavities. That way you have an access. You know that you can track them on your phone immediately and see where they're going. Um, if something like this does happen, immediately contact your local guitar centers that are near, your pawn shops. Get the word out because most of these guys at the guitar center are awesome. The ones that work in the actual stores. And they want to help find this stuff, and they will not be unsavvy about it. They get the game. They see when these cats come in. It happened to us, and we've gotten lucky on it before. Um, let people know, and that's why we are okay to do this. I mean, we can't do this. We've had other people reach out and ask us to do it, but I particularly like this guy because he's cool. And look at his pretty hair. I don't know about that. I just, <laughs> I went to, I'm going to make you laugh. I went to Catholic school my whole life and oh, worked boy. in an industry where you could never have long hair. Suddenly, so you're like, screw it, screw it, guys. Yeah, the, it, the second I was able to, I was like, let me try this look one. Look how pretty he is. <laughs> it's, it's like he touched my leg twice now. I already pulled some of his hair before we started shooting, too. Uh, but, but, um, but let me tell you for casino guitars, okay? And I know you're a modest guy, and you would never say this, but I'm going to say it for you. I've been all over the country, and I don't have many hobbies anymore in my age, but I go to guitar stores incessantly everywhere we As go do i I'm, I'm a junkie yeah same and i know you're modest and you're like rob don't say what you're about to say but i tell you casino guitars there's nothing like it I i've been everywhere say. i've been everywhere <laughs> well, I, 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 I can name names thing. i can name names but i love casino guitars i love the people that work at casino guitars when i was at martha's vineyard and i got the call the first person i thought about was baxter i'm like he will not take kindly to this and sure enough no, he said rob come on down and, and let's talk about this and that's the only saving grace because I've been a mess for the past four days. This is last night was the first night I even got four hours sleep. And, and I, and I, I usually have a better personality. No, than no, but this, everything but. you said that was amazing and nice, and I appreciate it. And it, it, it's weird for me to hear compliments because I'm married and I'm not used to anybody being nice to me. And I have children, and they just like more and more. <laughs> but um, but like seriously, everyone that's watching, it's like if you can't help, help. If you live in the South Carolina area, like let us know. We're gonna be monitoring the YouTube channel pretty incessantly. Contact us directly. At Casino Guitars, you can email us, you can call us, all that's posted below. Um, reach out to this guy, he's going to be public as well. He's going to be involved in this, in like, it's his collection. And what was the bicycle? Uh -huh. The bicycle was, um, in 1979, it was one of the greatest gifts I ever got. My parents bought me a 1979 Mongoose back then with tough wheel tubes, it was chrome with blue and had special grips. And <laughs> you do the poses, it's, it's Generation X right there for you. <laughs> it is, it is. And uh, my dad, who's no longer with us, uh, we did a project, you know, cause I left that bike out in the shed for a long time. So mm -hmm. it was rusty, the stickers were peeling, grips were rotted. So me and my dad methodically went through every inch of it and rebuilt it, restored it, polished it up like brand new, um, got all new stickers for it, Mongo stickers, Moto Mag stickers. And, uh, you know, I used to put it out every Christmas to recreate 1979, that, that feeling you get yes. as, a, as a little kid. 
and I put it in storage, climate controlled, because I didn't want anything to happen to it. That's what I would do. And they had to take my bike. Really? A well, pedal I mean, bike from well, you, 1979? Yeah, but you look at the cats that do this. Not the big, like, scary-looking white Shrek. guy. Yeah, yeah Shrek. Guy. He, he's call. a scary-looking guy. And I, I, hope, um, I hope we get him. And I hope he gets um, locked up. I have no sympathy for you. If I, and I've said it before. Like, if you need money to, like, help feed your family or something, yeah. hey, I get you. There's a lot of great charities out there. We've helped a lot, quite a bit. But I don't have any sympathy for guys that steal guitars. Um, uh, and that was, and that was, you know, and that was the other thing. The guitars I would take, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn on this, but I used to play golf in Myrtle Beach every day. No matter how hard I ever tried, I never got past an 80. Took lessons, hit balls. It didn't matter. I don't know how you do get past that. No. It's crazy. So I took a, I took up a new hobby. My wife and I, on our free time, we love animals. So for the animal shelters, and this started out in Red Rocks in Colorado. Awesome. We would busk around the street. <laughs> so I would play to a blues backing track. And lay down some some blues and you, with a with a um, guitar case open. Right on. And we were shocked at first. People would walk by and throw a buck, five bucks, whatever. Else. At the end of the day, we weren't doing it for us. Yeah. We love animals. So by I the end of the going. day, they had two hundred bucks in this thing. Good lord. So when we drive home, we'd we'd give it to an animal shelter or something like that. So instead of me wasting my time on a golf course, not getting any better, at least this was productive and fun. I would just say, let's back up to golf. Like if you can get anywhere in that eighty to ninety range. You've already gotten better than 98% of the golfers out there. That's the win. Yeah. If I but, break 90, I'm like, that's that's sure, huge. Sure. But, uh, yeah, that was part of it. But I have a Squire now. I could sit on the street with a Squire, which that's isn't a bad sick. guitar. So, thanks for coming in I pre- and joining us. No, Baxter, I appreciate this. You're, you're a hero. See, you really we're, are. We're, I mean, this is... We're not doing anything. It's, we're just, we're just, I want to put the word out there for everyone out there to... Just to help and like be aware of your own guitars, be aware of what's happened to this friend of mine here, and um, let us know. You know, I appreciate it. I really do. I mean, you were the I first you're person up about it. Man. I am. This is the I, kitty. I, I couldn't even barely pull it together to have this conversation. Mm-hmm. When I called you from Martha's Vineyard, I was I could barely even talk. You were not doing well. No, nah, I wasn't, and I didn't do well the whole boat ride home or the whole drive. That's why I made fun of you a lot before we started <laughs> shooting, so you wouldn't be crying too much. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate <laughs> I was pulling his hairs and everything. I appreciate. You would think six two, three hundred and fifty pounds, right? I'd, well, he's just like a little teddy bear. Yeah. He's so cute and fluffy. But, um, but no, casino guitars saved the day. They no. did. I mean, I was uh, I, I was depressed. I really was. Still am. Of well, let, course. Let's, let's try to find these guitars though. And um, so reach out to us if you if we're gonna put a list of what we can here. And thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And um, thanks for taking the time to watch somebody's not very happy story here happen. And we appreciate your help. Yeah, thank you, guitar community. I appreciate it. Same guitars signing out. Thank you.